hi welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is timmy and i'm an rn i work in saskatchewan and this channel is all about nursing in canada how to study as a student um if you're planning to move to canada and you have already a nursing degree how like ways that you can go about that if you're an international student looking to study nursing just different things about nursing in Canada um, and I would also go based on your feedback about what you want to hear or information that you need today I want to talk about the difference between the RN and the LPN especially in Saskatchewan um, we also have the RPN which is called registered psychiatric nursing but I'm not going to go into that the RN is the registered nurse and the LPN is the licensed practical nurse the RN takes four years the LPN on the other hand takes two years the RN program is offered through the University of Saskatchewan and the University of Regina slash Sask Polytech in Saskatchewan, while the LPN program is majorly offered through Saks Poly. It's a two-year program. You can take it in different colleges just across Saskatchewan, but it's a two-year program still, and it's majorly through Saks Poly as the main college or should I say main school once you're done your RN program so if you decide to go for the registered nursing once you're done you get a bachelor of science in nursing so it's four years you get a bachelor of science in nursing degree to degree while the LPN program is like a diploma when you're done you write the NCLEX PN and get the designation of LPN when you pass for the RN when you write NCLEX you get the designation of RN when you pass for international students, I usually say that I think it's easier to get into um, the Bachelor of Science in Nursing because it's competitive, but I, they also have slots for international students. The LPN, on the other hand, is highly competitive, and usually for competitive programs, it is hard for international students to get in. They don't really have that opening for them. So it's always easier if you're maybe you just moved as a PR to Canada and you're like, I want to switch nursing, then you can easily go for the LPM program. I also say that based on your age, like the pros and the cons, based on your age, you can decide that you want to do the LPM program, especially if you have family attached to you, your kids are young, you can decide that you want to do the LPM program first. And then when you're done and your kids are much older, go back to school to refresh and add on to get your RN. The difference between the RN and the LPN is that the RN program goes into more theory, goes into more research kind of thing, but the LPN program doesn't do that. So the RN is able to take positions that have to do with research, that have to do with management, um, not the LPN, except in some other places, Like, but it's not a common thing that you will see the LPN function in a managerial role. Again, we'll also pay, eventually the RN pay supersedes that of the LPN pay. And even there's a cap, even after you've got into, like there's a cap on your level of like how much you earn based on the number of years. So eventually like the RN catches up with the LPN pay and exceeds it or like ends higher than that. So. It, it all depends on your life situation. I can't even tell you which one is better to go for. But those are my few reasons for you to be able to decide which one is more um, lucrative for you or fits into your current situation. So do you have a family? Do you have a young family? Do you have the money? Do you have the time for four years? Um, if you're young, you know, you don't have anybody attached to you, I would say, why not just do the four years, get it over and done with versus like doing two years here, then going because once you start working, it's always harder to go back to school. I'm not even going to lie. It's harder to go back and start again. So, yeah, those are my thoughts about the RN or the LPN program. Um, if you have specific questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them down below. Reach out to me on nursingrightsnlp.gmail.com for any questions that you have follow us um, as well on instagram nursing in canada and i'll be sure to provide you more tips about nursing in canada take care bye